um, they can create their own social network on Ning. Um, when we say social network, we just mean a site that has components like photos, videos, blogs, forums. Sure. We just about an hour ago. Um, <laughs> and we're releasing new teachers every few weeks. We have a music player coming up, so we're really excited about that. There's 60,000 social, uh, social websites and social networks. Hi, this is Sarah Myers here at Girls in Tech in San Francisco with the lovely Leah Culver. How you doing? Hey, good. How are you? I'm doing great. So, why are you here at Girls in Tech? Well, I'm a software developer and a big supporter of more girls being involved in tech. So, I like this event because it encourages ladies to get together and network with each other. So, it's, it's fun. So, why are you a girl? <laughs> I was born that way. Why are, you in it. <laughs> why are you a girl in tech? I'm in tech because when I started college, I took one programming class for my art major. It was like a web programming class, and I thought I would hate it, right? I thought it would be the worst class ever, and I ended up loving it, and I had fun, and I made a cool little game, and everybody loved my game, and the entire campus was like playing this game, and I was like, oh my gosh, people like this game that I made, and I got super excited, and I was like, I want to make more stuff, right? I want to make more games, and so I changed my major to computer science from art, and and now I make cool stuff all the time, so it's really fun. You're a natural. A natural. A tech. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I was really surprised. I would have never thought this was what I'd be doing. I thought I'd be some painter or something, so <laughs> definitely a surprise, but... So how did you get involved in tech, Sarah? Um, it just happened. I've always liked new media, making videos <laughs> since I was a little kid. So I guess it just was a natural progression. So can I interview you? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you have any other questions about? No, but thanks for giving me the interview. It's good to have you as a girl in tech. Yep. I'm a girl, you're a girl, we're both in tech, let's be friends. <laughs> and that's how we should all be. So if you're a girl in tech, then you should come over to Girls in Tech and come party with us. Yeah, there are plenty of us. It's surprising because there's plenty of us out there and a lot of us don't get out enough. Yeah. So get out, come out, have fun. I have with me Donna from Atlassian. Hi. Hey. So what are you guys doing with your wiki? Um, we provide enterprise wiki software. Um, customers can download our software to evaluate it. They can also um, purchase the software to use on their own servers, or we also have our own hosted version of Confluence, which is the name of our wiki software. Um, and so that way, if um, customers don't want to go through the hassle of installing their own software, they can use our online version. It's, a, it's very cool. How did you get involved with Girls in Tech? Um, actually, this is my first Girls in Tech meeting. Um, I heard about it because um, uh, Atlassian was one of the sponsors, and I was really interested because as a girl in tech, I'm always interested in meeting other women who are in technology. Cool. So what makes you want to support an organization like this? Is it because you're a woman? It's because I'm a woman, and I think that women in technology are a lot of fun. We're an interesting breed, and I always love hanging out with other women who are in this field. We're a lot of fun. <laughs> I feel the same way. Well, thank you so much for sponsoring this event. You know, I hope that we can be involved with many more of these. This is a lot of fun, and this is a great opportunity to get together with other women in the field and, and you know share ideas and hopefully help each other. I'm here with Allison, who's with Women Who Launch. Ladies Who Launch. Oh, ladies. Excuse me. That's so much better. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, so what are you doing with Ladies Who Launch? But well, Ladies Who Launch is a national network of women who view entrepreneurism and creativity as a lifestyle. So what I do with them is I lead intensive workshops called incubators that are designed to help women at any stage in the creative process, mostly business related, like starting a business or growing a business, get unstuck. Yeah, you know, Girls in Tech aligns with what we're doing because 
you know, Adriana is incredible. She's got this passion and she has this vision and she's out there and making it happen. And she's a great role model for women and that's why I definitely am so thrilled to be a part of all of this. Me too. Well, what do you have to offer as a woman in tech? Well, I have a great background in technology. I used to be at Salesforce.com, so I understand the importance of it and that to be a successful business, and especially as a woman entrepreneur, the internet is your best friend. And the ways in that women are starting businesses at such a rapid pace is because they have access to the internet. And learning about all of these incredible tools that will help you grow and expand your business is so important. So Ning.com, the speaker tonight, I mean, I had no idea it was that easy to set up a social network. And, and that's crucial to getting people to form a part of a community and to buy into whatever the product or service is that you're selling. That's awesome. So how are you going to spread the word to other women in tech and support this in the future? Well, it's my absolute mission to spread the word to any woman who has ever thought of starting a business. She has an idea. She has a passion. Maybe she started it once but hasn't gone as far as she'd like to go with it. Look up Ladies Who Launch. We're here to support you. And don't let anyone, anyone who says no get in your way. Disregard. They have nothing to do with anything. That's great advice. Thank you so much, Allison. Thank you.